Today in this episode of Master's Path, I am using this team here by a player called Marcus. I did use this team last my last episode, and it features a choice specs Golden Go with the ability Good as Gold, it's the only ability that it gets, which stops status moves from affecting it. It's also got a rough skin guard chomp with rock slide, earthquake protect, and sword stance. But with the ice and clear amulet, which stops which prevents your stats being dropped. So it's really good into Pokemon like Arcanine, Gyarados, that have Intimidate. It's also got Mouse Hold with Follow Me on called Charm and Population Bomb. So it's a really good support Pokemon, but with a normal Terra type as well. That population bomb is absolutely awesome for damage because it will hit 10 times. It's got a 90% accuracy, but with the item wide lens, it becomes 99% and Technician increases its damage output even further. We've got also got Choice Scarf Annihilate with Defiant. Again, a really good option against Pokemon like Arcanine and Gyarados with Intimidate, but it's also got Final Gambit, meaning that you sacrifice Annihilate to one shot an opposing Pokemon unless it's got Sturdy or Focus App or its HP is greater than Annihilate's. We've got Murkrow, Prankster with Eviolite, with Taunt, Tailwind, Foul Play and Haze. Haze for Murkrow is actually really cool to have because Golden Goes make it rain, Annihilate's close combat and Draco Meteor on Hydreigon, which is coming up, lower their stats and Haze removes stat changes for both your side and the opponent's side. So it's also good into Don Dozo Tatsugiri combinations. And lastly, Hydreigon with Tailwind, Flash Cannon, Dark Pulse, and Draco Meteor, with it being a Steel Terror type. It's also got Life Orb, and with the ability Levitate, obviously, Ground Type moves don't affect it. Rental code is in the top right of the screen at the moment. It's also in the description below with the Poke Paste for the team as well. So go check it out and let's get battling, shall we? What have they got? Oh, this got Trick Room written all over it. Um, the issue with this team... So this has Trick Room written all over it. My issue is how do I go about stopping Trick Room? So I could go Annihilate. Annihilate I Dragon. Annihilate Mouse Hold. To me, that's actually rather interesting. Annihilate Mouse Hold, Merc Crow, and then Guard Chomp in the back. Yeah, let's do that. So, if they were to start with uh, Ndidi Oranguru. I get a lot out of this play because I can final gambit in DD, knock it out, just one shot it, and then I can population bomb Oranguru. No priority moves, and I should be able to get a double KO here. Final Gambit, we will Final Gambit into the Oranguru slot, just in case. But then Population Bomb. And we should have this. And if I don't, I think then the following turn I can try and get Encore off. The issue though is that it's not a priority move, so... Gets a bit tricky. Gets very, very tricky. Des, follow me. Okay. Is this indeed he sashed? It's not. It's not sashed. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah. And let's go for some terrestrialized technician population bomb. Whew. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, I've got this. Easy. Maybe not now. <laughs> Five. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Hell yeah. That um, crit may have been important. <laughs> I got a double KO. That's a real good trade on my part. Um, I could now just bring out Garchomp. In all fairness, let's just go Garchomp. Like, what do I have to lose at this point? There's Annihilate. Okay. That's something I have to lose. Uh, let's go EQ. Pokemon and we'll switch into Murkrow because obviously um, I've got a real solid option like with what Mousehold just did they might want to get rid of it <laughs> they Terra Sylveon Terra Fairy that's that could be better <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. Final Gambit. There we go. That's why I've made the switch. Murkrow helped out. Look at that. Again, Mousehold was that scary. Now they go Hyper Voice. This will take out Garchomp. Easy. They've actually done a really good job this turn. It's just I had something to switch into. So if they went close combat, I was okay. If they went final gambit, I was okay. I, I had an option. Now I'll just bring Mouse Hold out. Population bomb. Yeah. That's all I gotta do now. If no, I bet Annihilate had um, Choice Scarf, but let's say if the Sylveon was Choice Scarfed, that would have been a heck of a lot scarier. A heck of a lot scarier. Oh, what a fun match. That's just how good Mouse Hold is, but also like knowing like, hmm, well that Annihilate possibly has Final Gambit and Mouse Hold is a problem Pokemon. So let's switch. If they went close combat, they probably would have been in a better spot. In all, in all fairness. That was, like, my switch should have been telegraphed. Pretty badly. It's a very, very similar team, but instead of them having... Annihilate, they've got me Meowskarada. So, if I go Murkrow... I go Murkrow. I could go Golden Guy. I could also go Hydreigon. If I go Murkrow Hydreigon, what do I get out of it? I think a fair bit. Murkrow Hyd. Nah, we'll go Murkrow Annihilate. Mouse holds, and we'll have High Dragon in the back. Yeah. So this is a very, very similar team, just with Meow Scarada. The question is, is it Overgrow or is it Protein? I'm picking that Meow Scarada is also going to have a Choice Scarf. And U-Turn. That way you get protein off as much as possible. Murkrow and Hydreigon, okay. I'm actually really down for this start. Uh, I'm happy to trade Tailwinds as well. I could close combat Hydreigon, I just don't want to run the risk of I don't knock it out. 
So I'm happy to go into it like this. I would withdraw it for Golden Go. Yeah, okay. I need a... Do I need to switch it? It's got air balloon. Okay. Hold up. Do I need to switch? Because alternatively, I can go... Foul play into golden go. And get rid of Murkrow. Oh, and then if I make a switch, I take out whatever comes in. They don't. This seems like a really poor trade, but I get rid of their Tailwind's pressure, expecting to lose my, well, their ability to get Tailwind's back out, while I am expecting to lose my ability to get Tailwind's back out. They are quicker as well. Murkrow survived? Dude. Foul play. For the win there. Okay. I now I want to go High Dragon. Do I? Or should I go Mouse Hold? We'll go Mouse Hold. I can switch Murkrow out for my own High Dragon. Yeah. Cool. I need something faster than High Dragon, definitely. That much I do know. Now we go High Dragon. Mouse hold terrestrialized population bomb into their high dragon. But now I keep the ability to get tailwinds back out. I'm surprised that Murkrow survived. Uh, mind you, um, it's not choice specs golden go. Because like, my golden go has taken out Murkrow's before. And well, this golden go, the golden go on this team has taken out Murkrow's before in one shot with make it rain. And another Pokemon out, but that's also with choice specs. So I want to get Golden Go into a position that it, it's just going to keep losing special attack. And I'm going to take High Dragon out this turn. That's good damage. Two, three, four, he's six to seven. That's about seven. Beautiful. Goodbye, High Dragon. Also puts Golden Go in a position of well, what's it going to do. Mouse Old survived. Yes. <laughs> and I can take a few more of those. So now my goal is to just deal with what they've got. Dark Pulse, Golden Go. Population bomb the Ascarada. Sure. I'm kind of expecting to lose um, Mouse Hold here. I just don't want to lose Murkrow quite yet. Having the Tailwind. They go U turn. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I didn't need it to do that. <sighs> That's a problem. Is it? <laughs> that mechanic is still here? <laughs> so what's happened is that Miascarada hasn't been able to go back because Hydreigon actually fainted. U-turn will allow your Pokemon to come back to you as long as your target isn't knocked out. Or um, leaves the field. Oh, that there is huge! The issue is I can't be Golden Go. Murkrow is slower than it. Ah, oh, damn. I can't beat it. Um, I should have switched. Oh, imagine if I switched. I would still... Wait, maybe the mechanic isn't there. They didn't have any other Pokemon. 
I should have switched. Oh, that's a misplay on my part. Can't do... I can't do jack. I can't... Mousehold can't do anything into a golden go. And Murkrow really can't do anything either. I can try and get Tailwind out and somehow survive the turn, but um, I don't have the damage output that I want. Damn, if I switch... Okay. So that turn with Meowskarada out, I should have actually had a look as to how many Pokemon were left for them. Um, and I actually thought they were going to go for... A mouse hold, but I guess that also if you lose Meowskarada, Mouse Hold can't do anything into Golden Go. If I start with Murkrow, Murkrow Annihilate is sorry, Murkrow Annihilate is rather interesting. It's also rather scary. If I go Murkrow Garchomp, it's less scary. Murkrow Hydreigon? So they got Mimikyu who can learn Trick Room. They also got Talonflame that can learn Tailwind. Yeah, okay, we'll go Garchomp. Uh, then I can go High Dragon and Mouse Hold. Am I happy with that? Not really, but I don't know how else I go into this. Learning, learning a new format with completely new Pokemon and mechanics or um, gimmicks is... Always a learning curve. And sometimes you learn it really well, and sometimes you don't. It's both a positive and a not positive start. Let's go Tailwind and Rock Slide. If they go for Brave Bird or Flare Blitz, they don't. They've been really helpful. <laughs> Would have been super duper helpful. Um, that's just Talonflame's hidden ability, Gale Wings. So at full HP, it gets flying type moves off with priority. Bye bye, Talonflame. And also, don't have to worry about Rotom Wash quite as much. Mercro got choice specs. What did I lose from that? Not exactly a whole lot, did I? Um, Taunt Garchomp. Mm. Taunt Garchomp, Terrestrialize. Taunt Garchomp, Rock Fly, ta Taunt Garchomp. We'll go Protect. Yeah. I'm down for that. Stop them from going for Swords Dance. They went Dragon Claw. Okay. And there's Volt Switch. Okay. <sighs> Who's their fourth? This is actually a really good turn for me. I lost Murkrow, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Golden Go, okay. So now we go High Dragon. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Terrestrialize. Or 
Crystallized Draco Meteor into you. Yep. And then EQ, because I still have Levitate. Just because I'm changing to Steel type doesn't mean I lose Levitate. I still got Levitate. So let's use that to my advantage here. Yeah. The thing with a rental team is that once you get someone like Cybertron VGC showcase it, that's okay. Oh, huge! That there is massive! We now get Draco Meteor off. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. That's fine, I don't care. And that's why I can safely go for Earthquake. Uh, um, but everyone learns how to deal with a rental team. Or go up against rental teams because of it. Let's go Earthquake again. Rosa Mosh has Levitate, but I want to get rid of Golden Go because a mouse hold can't do anything into it. Fact. But Rosa Mosh can't do much into Garchomp. Not with electric type moves. Okay. <sighs> Bloody heck. Okay, that's terrestrializing. Rotom. To steal. That's interesting and annoying, but interesting. What on earth are they gonna do? Okay, they are quicker than Garchomp. That's kind of unexpected. That's my special defense form. We get Earthquake off. Levitate on my side, Levitate on their side. There goes Golden Go. That's the Pokemon I can't do anything into. They hide your palm. Garchomp. Okay. Okay. Both teams Tailwind petered out. I now get Mouse Hold out. They're going for Hydra Pump. I'm better off going Dark Pulse. If I can get a flinch, be awesome. And we'll go Population Bomb. One, two, got a crit. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Oh, this is a knockout range now. Beautiful. And then I get Dark Pulse off and I take the win. <laughs> okay. I was a little bit concerned when they terrestrialized Rotom into a Steel Top. I'm like, oh crap, what do I do? I've got an itchy node. Um, I kind of expect them to go Dragon Claw into... No, I'm not going to lie. I expected them to go Dragon Claw into Hydreigon. If I realized they were going to go Dragon Claw into Garchomp, I probably would have terrestrialized Garchomp or not even bothered. Wait for Mouse Hold to come out. But honestly, I thought they were going to, to terrestrialize, um, go into Hydreigon because it was a threat into, like, it was a threat into Golden Goat. It's a threat into their own Garchomp. So, like, they had a lot to gain by, well, Dragon Chlorine, High Dragon, and getting, the, getting a possible KO there. Anywho, the rental code is in the top right of the screen. It's the team ID. I've also got it down in the description below, along with the PokePays, so do check that out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps me out, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Happy battling. Bye.